How in the world can something like this happen? The good news is, can't blame this one on Steve, but you guys know that I'm still compiling my list and waiting for parts because I've got to redo the ailerons, I've got to redo the flaps, I've got to redo the stabilators, and who knows what else. But uh, So I'm trying to find things to keep me busy on the aircraft, and I figured for fun, just as a great emotional boost, I was going to put the... Uh, the main gear and get it up on its uh, landing gear and just just it would give me it would make a big visual change and that would you know yeah it make me feel good i think so i figured why not so i went over and i drilled out the uh the couple of rivets the factory just puts a couple of rivets in the seat pan and then uh, sharpies them red so you know which ones you're going to need to drill out during the building process uh, to gain access. So I drill those, I think it was like, I don't know, five, six rivets on each side out. And I grab the main gear mount and looking at the plans and I'm like, all right, how's this, how's this fit in there? And okay, it's kind of obvious once you hold it up and wiggle it around and find the way it drops in. I put it down in. And it, and it won't see, and uh, okay, well, what's going on? So, in the places where this is supposed to be, there's already rivets, there's in a, in a couple locations, and uh, the big one being along the uh, the, the main spar tunnel. Um, there's two rows of rivets coming right across the face of this, and I'm thinking to myself, that's a little weird, because usually, if something needs future work on the fuselage, then uh, the factory doesn't put rivets in those holes or, or they don't complete it. And that's something for you to do at a later step. And so I'm a little, little puzzled and I'm looking at it, looking at it, and I look closer and then uh, and I'm looking and I'm like, even if the rivets weren't there, the holes don't look like they're gonna align properly. So now I'm confused. I pull the parts out. I try to put them in all kinds of, you know, Tetris them in different forms and fashions, uh, see if I'm making a really dumb mistake. And I realized that, no, I'm trying to put them in right. I've, I've looked at the plans 20 times and it's just not going. Okay, well, maybe I'm supposed to drill those rivets out and then re-rivet them later. And once the other rivets are out of the way, maybe it'll seat down and locate to where the holes line up. And uh, so I take a bunch of pictures for fun and not for fun <laughs> because I, I've got to ask Carrie at Sonics and I'm going to, and this is uh, later on a Friday afternoon, so I can't do much uh, as far as Sonics is concerned. Uh, I can send in my questions, I can send in the pictures, but I'm not going to hear back from them until beginning of next week at best, most likely the middle of the week. So I'm kind of bugged about it so I, I I jump on the Facebook Sonics Builder page and I post my pictures and I post my explanation and fairly soon I start to get some responses and what I read and what I hear is a little troublesome and depressing uh, kind of like the rest of this project has been going and what it turns out is there's a chance that I may have, or the factory may have finished the spar tunnel in this uh, in accordance with a conventional gear aircraft, a tail dragger, whereas uh, it was purchased as a tricycle gear. Um, so yeah, and uh, that's a little troublesome. But I'm thinking, no, that's silly. That can't happen. You know, that's that's got to be impossible. Something's got to be wrong. So I look at it. From five more different directions and I can't figure it out but uh, it 
could be a big one, guys. So let's go take a look, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. This main gear mount sits down in that position there. And um, for the most part, everything that I've seen on the quick build kit so far, if it wasn't supposed to be riveted, it hasn't been riveted. But my concern here is, well one, in order to get this to kind of sit out where it was, pushes this rib way off center. Um, and seeing how it's already been pre-drilled with the seat pan, then that wouldn't be in alignment. Um, but I think it'll spring back enough once this plate is flush with the spar. The problem is, that's going to be noisy. The main spar tunnel's already been done and riveted, and I'm not sure why or if that's a problem. Am I supposed to drill out these rivets? But then, how would I re-rivet them? Because the uh, front part of the uh, tunnel is already on. Um, the wings have already been rigged. So, that leads me to believe, and I've posted online about this, and, uh, and some others seem to kind of think the same thing, that this quick build fuselage um, may have been intended to be a conventional or tailwheel aircraft and I have tri-gear main mounts and my engine mount is also for the tri-gear so I'm not sure how to overcome this uh, so the question is do I have a fuselage that was intended to be for a conventional or tailwheel aircraft? And if so, <laughs> what do I do about that? Uh, this kit was built and uh, shipped to Steve back in 2017. And I think it's a little bit late to uh, notice something being incorrect with it. Um, if that's the case, it may not be. I did put take some pictures and I sent an email into Kerry at tech at uh, scienceaircraft.com. He's always pretty responsive. I should hear back from him hopefully by the middle of next week. And hopefully it's a misunderstanding on my part and there's a real simple workaround and I'm just not seeing it the right way. Um, but a few people on uh, the Facebook builders page have said that it doesn't look correct to them. Uh, that includes uh, Gavin from Gavin Sonics B. Uh, he says, well, he's building the same plane. Well, he's building a Sonics B uh, tail wheel. And he says the spar tunnels, uh, there's two different drilling patterns for the conventional and the tail wheel. And mine looks like his. I need to look into the plans and see what differences there are and what side of the fence I fall on. So if that's the case, that would be a bit extreme, but if it's the case, what do I do? Um, do I get a tailwheel engine mount and a tailwheel and just build a conventional aircraft? tailwheel. I do not have a tailwheel endorsement because I don't even have my PPL yet. So this is, uh, I do intend to get a tailwheel endorsement at some point in time, but I was thinking that was later on down the road. Um, I obviously can't get an entire new fuselage. That would make no sense whatsoever. Um, 
if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, if you've built one of these, if you've uh, come across this issue and you uh, have a solution, let me know. Because at this point, I'm a little bit perplexed. So I'm going to go look through the plans right now. I'll take you with me for that. And uh, maybe we can figure this out together. Will the challenges never stop with this aircraft? Um, once again, thank you, Gavin, because uh, you were paying attention. And I think you were right. Um, I'm looking at the plans right now. I'm on page uh, WXB F05. Uh, Gavin says the same page in his plans were the SNX F05. So that's the first place I went was F05. And yes, that's, that's it. Um, I have another camera view going on down here. So you can see in this image that... Uh, this is for the tri-gear, this is for the uh, traditional gear, conventional gear, tail dragger. Um, Steve had a tendency to scribble out things that applied to tail dragger, which kind of makes my life a little easier. But what we see here is that on the tricycle gear side, which is what I have, there should only be a uh, place for three bolts there, Actually, just uh, five bolts up top, three holding to this uh, seat rib, and then uh, more down here. But what is in my plane is, in fact, rivets straight across, like in this section here of the uh, tail dragger. So I think I have a tail dragger fuselage. Um... That's a real problem for me, actually, because uh, I went out of my way to try and find a tricycle gear because I know they're a little easier to fly, and I did not think I would be getting my tail dragger endorsement at all at first. Then once I started flying and I watching uh, watching people uh, fly the Cub uh, down at the field, and uh, that looks like a lot of fun. And I I do think I want to go down that road. I'm just not sure I want to do it anytime soon. So. I think Carrie is going to get back to me this week and tell me exactly this. I have a tail dragger chassis where I should have a tricycle gear chassis and hopefully he has some sort of a uh, option for me, some sort of solution. I don't think I can convert this back to a tricycle gear. So I don't know. That's a pretty big mistake if, if that is a mistake the factory had made uh, in the initial building, then uh, that would be a big one. And I, I would hope they would do something to help me here. Uh, they've been super friendly and helpful up until this point, And I don't see why that would stop anytime soon. Um, they're good people. So, yeah, I'm going to insert a picture here. Uh, I'll probably try and slip it on this side so you can see it next to the uh, the tail dragger uh, rivet pattern here on the main spar or the spar tunnel, and you guys can judge for yourself as to what. Uh, give me your opinions. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I'm kind of shocked at this point. So. Uh, I'm going to have to go back again and look at the original invoice to make sure that it was supposed to be a tricycle gear and to make sure there wasn't a mistake of somebody buying a tail dragger and then maybe buying the parts for a tricycle gear, but it's not an easy conversion. So in fact, uh, once the uh, the main spar tunnel is done, I'm not sure it can be uh, converted without pulling all that out, redoing all that work, re-rigging the wings. Um, if you can, because I think those are all drilled in one unit. So, um, yeah, more fun stuff. You just never know what you're going to get when you turn into this channel. So, um, yeah, I could use all the support I could get at this point in time. So do me a massive favor. Click that thumbs up button. Uh, hit the subscribe 
little thingy down here in the corner and uh, uh, turn on the uh, notifications, the little bell for alerts so you can find out what my next problem is as soon as possible. So as always, thanks for watching.